I'm recording this December 4th, 2011. I've had this planetarium program on my computer for about eight years. And since I knew that the origins of the December 25th being Christmas were purely based on the fact that at the, when Christianity was being spread throughout Europe by the Roman Catholic Church, um, the Celtics, Franks, and other peoples of pagan Europe uh, had festivals around the shortest day of the year, the 21st of December. We all know that. Okay. And then I come to find out that uh, Christianity can be a very... I'm a Christian, so uh, I'm not saying this against my own faith, although I'm not a Roman Catholic. Um, Catholic Church, which I guess means universal, needed a fast day holiday to replace the pagan celebrations on the shortest day of the year. That since Christianity isn't about uh, excitement, it's about Jesus Christ, um, the Romans decided that they would make the birth of Christ on December 25th. Also, officially, this is 2011. Now I'm, now I'm going to zoom in to show you the astronomical consequences of this date. The date is May 8th, 6 BC, at 4.54.59 seconds AM. And what you'll see, that the location I've chosen is Bethlehem due east and you're going to see a conjunction of the second and third brightest objects in the sky of course the moon is the first the, the second and third are Venus and Jupiter even on a night tonight if you were to go out and look at Venus and Jupiter separately you would notice that they both separately are extremely bright. But what on some day that there was a conjunction between Venus and Jupiter in Bethlehem due east? The people the people at that time in Palestine had no concept really of planets, just stars. May 8th, 6 B.C., 454, and I might say 455 a.m. Bethlehem, West Bank. There is the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, almost due east. That would have been a magnificent sight to behold. So for all you folks out there that think that the Christian church before the Middle Ages knew the exact date of Christ's birth, well, 
Remember when we found out there was no Santa Claus? Well, this is another Eureka moment. Jesus Christ was born May 8th, 6 B.C. And I like to see the Roman Catholic Church refute that one, or any Protestant denomination. Also, there are no references. Christ was a modest, humble man. No references to the exact date of his birth, or the fact that it should be celebrated. And in the light of what has become in the 21st century, nothing more than an excuse to shop. The Christian community needs to take a long, hard look at what the Christmas that we celebrate really is. You have, you ever noticed in most of your Christmas specials this time of year, at least half of them are dealing with the Christmas spirit, or what is Christmas for? Remember the Charlie Brown special? Nobody seems to figure out what Christmas is. To children, it has nothing to do with the, the birth of Christ. And to non-Christians, it has no religious significance. I would hope that the world would, after they see this video, would take a good, hard, long look at the merchandising of a holiday that the church created as a fest day that was originally a pagan holiday. There's your proof.